bizarre. So what did you do actually, Chuck? What did you do <clears throat> to relieve it though? Because I know that things turned out for the best on that end, but what did you do personally to relieve it? Because that solution that I came up with to make my property work for me, to know that that's where I'm going to get that 20%. Things didn't fall into place. So the stress that is building when I saw that it wasn't going the way I wanted it. And then um, I, I had a, a really hard conversation with, with my significant other. Podcast show where four brothers kick back and discuss everyday topics. Today we have a special topic to discuss, but before we get into any of those details, I want to introduce the brothers that I roll with on this podcast. Uh, the first person I'm going to bring up is Manny. Manny, let the people know what you're all about and give them a little piece of who you are. Yes, 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 sir. My name is Manny Fresh. Uh, you know, happy to be on this podcast show. You've seen the episodes. You know what I'm about. Let's rock and roll, man. Eddie, go ahead. Keep it going, right, man. Manny, thank you. Always a pleasure to have you on this, on this you. panel. Um, the next person that I'm going to bring up is a very special person, um, but I'm not going to say much. I'm going to let that person introduce themselves. Uh, Char Charlie T. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome, everybody. Man, I just want to say I'm always excited when we're on, and man, my brothers, we always got a lot, of talk, lot, lot to talk about, so let's get it. All right, all right. And last but not least, um, I want to bring up... Uh, Another brother of mine who is very talented, um, very gifted. Um, and oh, wow. To, yeah, very, very extremely. And you'll see as, as you get to know him through different episodes. Um, but I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself. Um, Ray, let the people know what you're all about. Ray, Ray. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. I'm just going to keep it brief. This is going to be a killer topic, like I said on the last one. Let's Sorry. just get it going. Let's just get it going. All right. Uh, get it. Before we begin our topics, I do want to give a special thanks to our uh, to our members, to the subscribers. Uh, they have been very supportive. Yes, thank sir. You, thank you. Yes, yeah, sir. I, I just wanted Good to go ahead. I wanted Good to start point. the show like that because I know a lot of people are watching right now. And if it wasn't for the supporters and the subscribers, you know, where would this show be? And and I want to give a special thanks now before we even begin any topic. Uh, so let's just jump right in. So today's topic is stress all right um how do we deal with stress what is stress and we're also going to talk about different moments that we were stressed and how we dealt with it okay um if you have any thoughts about this as the show is going on please type your comments below we want to hear from you we do look at all the comments um but let's just jump straight into it uh before i i go ahead and introduce this topic in in in, in a deeper manner um let me just read something that I found on the internet just so we can understand and identify what stress is. Stress is your body's way of responding to any kind of demand or threat. When you sense danger, whether it's real or imagined, the body's defense kicks in into high gear in rapid automatic process known as fight or flight reaction mm -hmm. or what they would also consider the, 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 the stress response. Okay, um, so stress can either be good or it can be something that, that can lead to more complications. Yep. Throughout the show, we are going to discuss uh, signs of stress. We're going to talk about how it affects us uh, mentally, uh, physically, uh, behaviorally, certain signs that you can see in people's behavior. Let's say if you see you have children and you see maybe your children behaving in certain manners, mm -hmm. you can detect if uh, maybe if they're going through stressful moments. It could be a school thing. It could be a friendship thing. Uh, <clears throat> I know my teenage daughter is, um, uh, you know, she's in high school. I know she's facing a lot of different stressors or could be stressors, right? Depending mm -hmm. on how she deals with it. Yep. Uh, so I do want to say that in the world that we live in today, there are a lot of factors that can cause stress, you know, just dealing with this pandemic, you know, dealing with, with, with human rights, you know, just equality and equity can be stressful in a workplace, uh, and, you know, with our own families, uh, 
even something 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 uh, uh, well not as simple but how to come up with the next month's rent uh, can be extremely you no know, bills you know? mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm gonna stop here I want to hear from from my brothers um, what are some stressful moments that you guys have experienced and how have you dealt with these experiences um, I'm gonna open up the mic to uh, to Chuck Oh wow! Thank you, Eddie. Man, I, man, I'm so I'm just so excited about this topic because it's uh it's something that we deal with on a daily basis. So um, <clears throat> I have to I'll, I'll throw in a scenario out from my experience. So you know, as we were you know as I was purchasing this house, you know, you figure like, man, this is a this is a big twenty percent is twenty percent. No matter what you say, no no matter how much the house costs. 20% of 20%. So I just kind of laid there and went, hmm, what, you know, how am I going to do this? So I lay there probably for about an hour <clears throat> and a light kicked on, just popped in my head and went, wait a minute. I have something that's going to work for me. I have property in California that because the market has shot up, this thing is going to work for me. Right. So I, I kind of went to sleep. That kind of relieved a, a whole real big thing. So I, that next day I got up and I started the process. And everything was going well, going well. And I was like, I felt good about it. And man, I look at us now. You know, we, we're here. And so what did you do, actually, Chuck? What did you do <clears throat> to relieve it, though? Because I know it, things turned out for the best on that end. But what did you do personally to relieve it? Because that solution that I came up with to make my property work for me, to know that that's where I'm going to get that 20%. Oh, I see. So financially, use that. Financially, got it. Right. Right. Okay. So that, that was my stress reliever right there. I of was course. able to actually, as soon as I came up there, I was actually able to roll over and go to sleep. Wow. I'm glad <clears throat> that was the result. So, so basically to... what, what you did, I'm sorry uh, to cut you off, Eddie, but basically what you did, Charles, is the, the stress really went away because you had a plan, number one, mm. right? You stopped worrying about it. You had a plan. <clears throat> And immediately when you had a plan, your brain was like, okay, yeah. the stress is slowly going. Obviously, yeah. it ended up being a great situation for you. Yes. But I think that's one of the things, one of the answers when, and I, and I don't mean to, to jump ahead, uh, Eddie, is one of the things when you want to deal with stress is don't worry too much about it, which is what just what you exactly did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You thought mm -hmm. about it. You were methodical about it. You said, okay, I have a plan. And boom, you were able to go back to sleep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm glad you touched on that, Ray, because later on in the show, we're also going to talk about how to deal with stress, right? And it's not something that you do at the moment when you feel stressed. It's something that you do prior, right? Like eat healthy, have set routines, go get your... We'll discuss that. Um, <clears throat> but thank you for bringing that up because that is a key component on, on when we, you know, when we do talk about stress. Uh, yeah, Chuck, that, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I would be extremely stressed with that as well. I mean, that, that right there... Anybody. Uh, not only that because... It, and, and it goes back to... Um, to one of our prior episodes when we talk about fear because the fear of you not providing for your family. And in this case, the house is for your family. Yeah. So you wanted to make sure that everything was in place. And this is again, uh, one of those moments where, 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 uh, where because we are responsible and we want to make everything mm -hmm. right around us, you know, it you know, we, 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 we stress over moments, but in this case, you know, uh, Charles bought out all his strengths and, 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 Took strength almost as a as a positive here. Right? Mm -hmm. That was a positive moment, really. Yeah, it was. Because of the because of the stress, <clears throat> you became successful. Yeah, but let, let me say this though: you got to think about it. For example, to your point, he oh. made a decision 10, 15 years ago back home because he was disciplined enough to listen to someone that gave him the right advice. Right. So he it didn't just that stress didn't get taken away in the moment. It did because of, right, it's a domino effect. He made that decision to listen to, to a, a wiser person. He made a commitment and that uh, property allowed him to get the second <clears throat> property, which is great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So like you said, it, it, it starts, you know, every day, every decision that you make, you right. know, has brought into the point that you are now. So That's that right. actually opened doors for him. Uh, right. Well, I have to say, well, I have to, that Ooh. wiser person was myself because when I left, I knew I wasn't going to sell that property because at some point I will go back and I knew that why go back and have to stress on trying to figure out where am I going to live? Right. right. But what I'm referring to was the, the, the fact that when you purchased, when you acquired it, right? 
it was listening to myself. I, there was no one that gave me advice to do that. Didn't you have a friend that he, he's a very good guy? With, yeah, he with just, he, yeah, I went, got advice. Right. Yeah, but it was, if it, if, if even, it was just me, all me, you know, okay. you, you right. speak to people, but they could only give you certain, give you certain advice. That's so right. Everything, everything that was done was all my, just all my thought, <laughs> all my, just everything. Got it. So, I mean, I don't take anything from anybody, but that's what it was. So. Yeah, that's right. I mean, things can play a little influence in your decision making, but at the end of the day, yeah. you have to have that courage and that strength to make the decisions to Definitely. kind of turn stress into some type of success, right? Yep. So the stress wasn't there for too long because you realize what I have to do is create yeah. a plan. What I have to do is keep on figuring it out and use all my tools. That could have been influenced by other people at some point in your life, but ultimately you're the one that made the decision to, to make the decisions you made in order to be where you are today. So. Yeah, man, you a strong brother, man. That's what I'm always talking about. Yeah, man, thank you, thank you, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is why I'm always saying, yo, I have some strong brothers around me. Even just that story is inspirational to me because I see that there's always a way. Mm -hmm. You know, think about somebody who doesn't have a, you know, figure those are are very stressful moments, you know? But I will tell you this, if I'm ever in that situation, it may not be all me, so I'm going to reach out to you, my brother. There you go. Somebody coach me because you already went through it. And that's what brothers do. That's what family does. Yeah, yeah. I definitely appreciate that and, and they yeah, always, sure. they always say, if there's a way, there's a will. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Um, but moving right along, I want to hear from the other brothers as well. Um, Manny, um, have you ever had a moment where you felt stress? And you know, I, I know you're you're very well rounded and you're very balanced, and it's very hard to get caught off guard because this is this is what I know about you. You know, you 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 see things in certain ways, and you don't let things get so deep to the point where it becomes a problem in your life. You keep it at a at a at a stay away, and you 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 give that stiff arm. And you're like, it's not that serious. So now it's kind of, it would be intriguing to know, have you ever been challenged with anything that was extremely uh, stressful to you? And and how did you overcome it? Or, or is this something that you're still dealing with now? Yeah, yeah, thank you, Eddie, appreciate that. Um, great story, by the way, Chuck. Um, <clears throat> for me, Eddie, uh, yeah, I, I, I tend to taking things uh, as light as I can. Uh, and the, the way I can, I see how people operate and folks go through everyday life and I watch and I, and I, and I just, I educate myself by reading a lot of books. Um, and I listen, sometimes I, ha- I read them, you know, twice and I, and I take the, the best out of the books to try to kind of implement that in my life. Um, cause I, you know, I don't have a mentor per se that kind of guides me and stuff or, or a guru. Right? right. Um, so, you know, I turn on my audio books and whatnot. Um, for the most part, that's been a big help, uh, in my life. Um, but no, like everybody else, man, I go through it. Um, f- uh, so I, I'm driven a lot financially because not because I always say I, I don't worship it, but I know what it, it, it allows me to do for my family and for my friends, right? If, if possible. Um, so uh, I just, like I said, I read a lot. Um, there was a situation was once where, well, not too long ago, actually, uh, uh, I ventured into this business. Uh, it was a franchise and the way I acquired the, the, my finances wasn't the smartest way. And I realized that when I was really deep into the business um, and I know I could have put through, but I made certain decision choices along the way and, and the timing and the market, like Charlie says, things didn't fall into place. So the stress that is building when I saw that it wasn't going the way I wanted it. And then um, I, I had a, a really hard conversation with, with my significant other and we had to make some, some decisions to, to the point where we were like, you know, what are we going to do? You know, it, it, it was tough. Um, uh-huh. But I just, I always say, man, and this is my advice to everyone. When you find yourself in that situation, forward the thought and look at the worst case scenario. And I always say, as long as it's not uh, compromising your health, there is nothing worse than that. Right. And what I mean by that is like, even if you are down to your last dollar, if you have your health, right, you'll be all right. You, we can always rebuild. You can come back from it. And a lot of the times we, we think that we need certain things material wise. Right. And we really don't, it's just a stigma, not a stigma, but something that we have in our, in our, in our minds, right. That we, that we uh, manifest like we need it, but we really don't right now. We could be in a park chopping it up and we'll still have our love. We'll still have our health. We still hopefully have a camera that can, uh, right. Uh, stream this podcast. But what I'm saying is, uh, yeah, I fast forward the situation, the scenario, and that's, that brings my stress down a lot. 
But yeah, for the most part, I think the biggest thing I can tell folks is educate yourself, read books on it, and educate yourself, man, because that, that really helps me. Uh, but yeah, but also, I'm sorry, I'm jumping back and forth. But with my situation, I was really stressed out. Um, and, but I just, you know, I got myself out of the situation and uh, I'm still paying for it somewhat. But soon before I, before I know it, I'll be out of it. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm smiling the way I am, because I, I know that I, I kind of played out the scenario, um, you know, in advance. And it turned out just like I played it out. You know, I didn't take the path of, oh, my God, the sky's falling. What am I going to do? Everything is over. No, you can't. Yeah. It's easy to do that because that's, you know, the least the path of least resistance. The brain is telling you, be safe, protect yourself. No, you'll be all right. Just sit down, manage your time, come up with a game plan. You're going to be okay. Yeah. Again, the only thing we can control uh, to, cer to, uh, to in certain scenarios is our health. All right, and I'm sorry for the long-winded uh, answer. No, but no, please, please speak on. I just on. have a light in my mind, man. So speak on, my brother. Yeah. Um, I, I do want to say, you know, and I'm gonna come back to you later on in the show because it's evident that you have certain strategies in play. So like that, then the stressors will not, they won't reach you to the point where you become stressed, and it ultimately hurts you <clears> and the people <throat> that you, that are around you. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it's also evident that you're, you, you know, you, you're a person who's a very strong figure, and you hold that role very well to the people that you're around. Thank so you, it's bro. almost like anything that can be stressful to you, it's a little person. It's like a, not a little person. Right. It's, like a, it's like a little thing that it can't get to my bigger circle. Right. I'm going to stop it at its core. Right. But it's also right. because you also have uh, certain, uh, certain strengths. And we're going to talk about those strengths and we're going to talk about having to deal with stress before stress, right? Because hmm. you yep. obviously have some, some strategies that, that you See do. See the signs of stress, yep. Yep. Yeah, right, right. Yep. Yep. Um, so uh, thank you, Manny. Um, you know, you know, and I'm just gonna say that it's very hard. You know, I know you guys are very strong people, and it's almost hard to see that you guys stress about anything that's going to bring you down. But it does happen, and it does happen. Health is one. You know, I mean, you find out tomorrow that 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 you know, unfortunately, you you have something that's gonna, you know, that's that's, that's hurting you health wise. You know, it becomes stressful because then maybe it's att it's attached to maybe I can't provide anymore. Right. Right. But um, terminal, right? And, and you know, you also have strong families behind you. Yeah. But um, I want to go ahead and continue. Um, so Ray, I'm I'm gonna pose a question to you as well. Um, is there a moment where you felt stressed? Um, I know you've you've traveled, not the world, but half the world. Um, <laughs> you know, you've been to different places, and and you know, and, yeah. and I know you have a lot of amazing stories. You just to say that you're a strong person, you know. Thank and you for that. You very strong qualities. But has there ever been a moment where you felt stressed and? And if so, then how did you deal with that stress? Yes, there was a time in my life I thought it was, I had, I had the, the, the lowest in my life. So it was about 10 years ago when the market actually hit um, rock bottom 2008, 2009. Um, I was actually working out of Tokyo. Um, I, you know, it was, it was a great opportunity I took over there. And unfortunately, when the market hit, um, I was a victim of, you know, the, you know, I was jobless, you know, not only jobless, but I was also in a completely different country, right? Mm. So I lost my job in Tokyo. Um, I had to come back to the United States. Um, the housing market was also tanking. So I was also in the middle of unfortunately losing my primary residence, my house. And at the same time, it wasn't going very well with my marriage. So I lost my job. I was losing my uh, my home. Uh, I was and I was struggling with my marriage. So wow! I had all three factors at the same time, Ooh. and um, wow. yeah, unfortunately, I lost the house, got divorced, um, and then was wasn't was uh, was looking for a job. So yes, the stress level was way too high, and there was nothing I could do. Right, the first thing that came to my mind, to be honest, is if I keep worrying, there's nothing the stress would do to fix it. There's right. nothing. Right. If I just sit there and worry, worry. So they had to be a plan. I had to put a plan to get out of it. Right. So I methodically looked at, okay, what are the, what are the, what is the immediate uh, action that I need to take in order for me to continue to survive? I had family and everything else. So obviously, you know, job was the first thing that I had to basically deal with. And I was lucky enough to have this, to, to, to get a job, uh, even though it was stressful, but I got a job. Right. So, I, fo I put all my effort in trying to get that job uh, sooner rather than later, but ultimately I got a job and that's where I landed in, uh, in, uh, you know, same company as uh, where uh, Charles is working now. 
then the next thing was, okay, um, uh, losing the house, right? So I had to find uh, residence. So going through that, uh, so, um, you know, sold the house, moved out, uh, and then work on the marriage, uh, which unfortunately didn't work out. Um, and then at the same time, okay, there's another fourth thing um, that also happened to me. I was hit with a huge tax bill, right? Uh, so, um, so I basically what I did is you hit the lotto backwards. <laughs> okay, one of the things I had to learn from you know putting the plan is one, you're structured. Two, you know you 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 know what to learn. This is a learning moment at the same time, right? Um, and then three. To your point, Eddie, you realize that you're not strong until you test it. That's when you know you're really strong. Mm -hmm. And to me, that was a test. Yes, test. I looked at it. I was like, I'm not going to give up. I, I had too many things to lose, even though I lost it. And right. to your point, you could rebuild it many. So that's what I focused on, rebuilding. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's how I was able to get out of that. At the same time, you know, there was other things I was able to um, knock off at the same time, rebuild my credit. My credit was shot at the same time. So I'm slowly, you know, slowly but surely, I knew, I knew that, you know what, if you constantly put some effort into it, you're disciplined and you'll get out of it. So um, that's what I want to take away from that. Let, let me ask you a question, man, because as you speak, I'm, I'm just, I'm just. Eddie, I'm sorry. Can I just commend this brother for, for sharing? And, I, mean, I, was and about I know where he is now. I just know where he is now. And, and wow, <laughs> that's what I have to say about that. Wow. Yeah, but, but the more you speak, the more I can, we kind of want to know a little bit more. Um, you mentioned four different very stressful, life-changing situations. Thing lead to anxiety. This is all on one human. You are that human. Can I ask you, what was your drive in not staying down? Because those are all moments of you being down. Only you know what you went through those mornings and those nights, those sleepless nights. And only you know what your, what your mind was 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 thinking about constantly yeah. not for one day not for two days but for like periods of time periods so of what time. was your drive and not staying down during those stressful moments like it was there a drive what was it that so you yeah so there was also some of my duties that came that kicked in right so i wanted to make sure that obviously um even though i was going through some uh separation at that time that they were set up right so there were kids involved in the situation, oh. right? So I needed to make sure that they were set and they didn't have to worry about anything. They wouldn't have to worry about anything, but you know, that extra stress that I put on myself made it sure that they were set. Can, and, I, just, can I just say one thing right here? Yep. There are so many fathers out there that, let me just say, you're very selfish less, right? Because when something goes down, Sometimes people think, well, I can't do this, or I can't even worry about the kids. I'm not even thinking about the kids. Let that happen the way it happens. But for the fact that you're saying that that was a factor in your drive, Priority. a lot of volume. I yeah. just wanted to say that because my, yeah. my mind is, is thinking as you're talking, yeah. and, I, and, I, and, I, and I commend that. You know, this is a stand-up father here. This is a person that says, yeah. wait a minute, I have children. I don't think for myself anymore. I think for my children. Okay, maybe the relationship, the relationship part, that's a different kind of thing. But my children are always going to have me as their father. Correct. And if something goes wrong, then it can trigger down to my children. But you didn't abandon that moment. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people do abandon moments when it comes to, you know, fathering and relationships. If they leave the relationship, they leave their children and the stress and it becomes a lot and, and they don't have a job. And the children are the last that they think about. But that's Sacrifice. the first thing you spoke about. But, and I definitely want to commend you for that, right? And I also I want to add this. I also want to add this, right? We spoke about this very briefly because I know we're going to dig into this. So the stress, if you use it right, will make you realize some of your potential that, was, that were hidden. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you, 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 you never know how strong you are until you're faced with the, you know, Adversity. whatever the challenge, yep. right? So... Like I said, I learned to be disciplined. I learned to be, you know, humble, right? Think about it. A couple of months ago, I was living in Tokyo. Wow. And then a few months later, I was there back home, shipped home, literally shipped home. 
at all at, everything was still in, in storage right from my house and I had to I had to make a decision right so yes the kids definitely my personal drive you know if if you remember one of uh, one of our first episode mm-hmm. about what is fear is yes. failure and I said mm-hmm. my fear was failure mm. and at that moment yes I f- you know there was a moment of yes I think I failed having all these happening at the same time, but never knocked me down. Right? It never did knock me down. And, you know, I'm glad, unfortunately, I went through it because I think it made me a better person, Stronger made me a more resilient person. Um, there's some things that I, 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 you know, held a long time inside that mm-hmm. never helped, that, that also added to my stress. Uh-huh. And through that, you, you got to have like an avenue of, of release. I'm glad I could talk to every single person person on this panel and yeah, i've spoken to you a couple of times about this stuff mm-hmm. so yeah i learned and stress is is if you know how to use it it's always going to be there um if you don't know how to use it that's when it becomes a danger and i think that's what we're going to talk about you got to manage right manage so 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 i know that we all spoken about how we dealt with stress with stress um yeah. we want to hear from you Ed. Oh, you want to hear you want to hear um, yeah course, what, were, what were your uh, stressful moment. moments that I, 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 I tend to not let things affect me because I don't like to be weak and I feel like stress is something that, that is a weak kind of experience right not experience but something that, that holds you down from other things right so if I'm stressing something then it's taking away from something else whether it's my child my friends my my mother my you know my my, my students whoever it is so I tend to understand that I'm a hundred percent character to those relationships i should be a hundred percent to my daughter as a father and if i let stress bother me then i'm taking away from me being a hundred percent to my daughter so with that being said my daughter's uh mission to find a high school was a little stressful for me you know i mean i've been i don't get me wrong i'm not saying i don't get stressed i'm human i at this moment i you know I'm, i'm a virgo and you know, I, I tend to overthink things and sometimes I can't even sleep thinking that I have to do something tomorrow. And I guess that's a little sign of stress, but it also keeps me on my toes. But um, looking for, for a high school for my daughter was a little stressful because I want the best place for her to help shape her mind and for her to get an education, for her to have a, the, ex, the best experience possible. So that could have been a little ex- stressful. Uh, so what I did was I spoke, you know, I, I, I spoke to other parents. I did my research. You know, I I I, yep. I called schools. We did we did we did open house. We did it together. I spoke to my daughter, um, and the reason it was stressful is because you don't know what's gonna end up happening. So it was a little stressful, mm-hmm. um, and it's all just part of the journey. Sometimes it's all part of the experience. And every time you go through a stressful moment, and you overcome it, hopefully you overcome it. At least temporary, you know, you overcome it. Um, it makes you stronger because the next time you face that type of experience or that type of situation, you're a little better, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, so yep. that's where I am. But, but believe yeah. me, there's been a lot of little moments that, that, that could have been very stressful, you know, and I think there's levels of stress, right? right. Like um, oh, yeah, I'm, in, I'm in the house moving from one, from one country to another. That doesn't touch me. For, that, you know, that, that's a different level than me looking for a school for my daughter, mm. you know? a house i mean <clears throat> that's a big deal you know um yeah. uh you know um and then certain things i don't treat it as stress only because i don't want to be weak in that situation you know mm-hmm. but um yeah yeah so that's you that's, make, that's where yeah. i am but what, what, you, what you do you mean a, you, go ahead, Ray. sorry what do you mean you don't want to be weak in a situation of stress i just feel that weak that stress is a weak characteristic uh <clears throat> it's no i don't want to say that because i don't want to i don't want to disrespect anybody who's listening and may feel stressed about something and 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 want and I don't want them to think that I'm saying they're weak. I'm just saying the way I interpret stress, I don't have time to be stressed when I could understand like I understand why worry about it when if you stress out it's not gonna do anything about the situation. On, it could only hinder my progress yeah. and the progress of the people that are around me. Yeah. You know? So Yes, I get stressed. No, no, no. Let, let me not. But you're action Eddie, driven, Eddie. Stressed. You're action driven. That right? right, and that, right. If I may say something, yes, and that's sir, where right. I'm going, because Eddie said I spoke to parents, I did my research, and nine out of ten times, right? Again, yeah. excluding health, right? Because certain things we can't control. Nine out of ten times, if you take action, 
if you do your due diligence, right? If you if you find a way, you're going to be much better. Half the time that you are stressed is because either you're not taking enough action, you're right. not doing anything about it. And I said this with a lot of respect, right? Because right. you could be in a situation where you think that you can't control it. But if you take a step back and you talk to the right people and you seek help, right? Right. Things will change. Trust me. Things will yeah. change. And, 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 yeah, and you have, do I'm sorry, Chuck. Yes, please. And listen, we all have weaknesses. We all have weak moments. So I, I get what you're saying, but everyone has a weak moment. Yeah. Not every day, but it could be once a week. It'd be once a month, once a year. Oh, yeah. We are always going to have a weak moment that we have no control over. That's right. So uh, listen. I, I, I'm not even gonna say no more. I think that's said enough. I mean, you you've said a lot, Chuck. I mean, just you know, again, I mentioned you know we're going through a pandemic. A lot of people have lost their jobs. You know, yeah. yeah. You know, fortunately and unfortunately, I can't speak to that because I haven't lost mine. But I do know that if I would have lost my job and I have all these bills to pay and 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 my child to feed, that would be an extremely stressful situation. Right. Extremely stressful. Mm -hmm. And. What would need to kick in is, is your, your your response. Right. You know, your, what are you going to bring to the table right. to fix this right. problem? Right. That's a key right there. You can't be a deadbeat. Right. But um, but I do want to take the opportunity right now, and I want to kind of mention uh, symptoms of stress because sometimes people don't don't know that they're stressed until you you feel a certain way or you know that this is what you're you're experiencing. Depression. You just fall into stress, like a relationship, right? But if you're feeling certain symptoms, there's a moment where you're going to say, hey, I have to stop this. I got to fix these moments. Yes. You know, in order to continue and, and not be stressed about these things. Um, so I kind of want to just mention and just 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 key points. Um, you know, there are some symptoms that are emotional, physical, and behavioral, um, especially for the parents out there. And like me, I'm a teenage, you know, I'm a teenage parent. And sometimes I have to study my child's behavior and, and what my child says for me to try to get more information. Um, but these are signs, okay? So allow me to just kind of go through over, uh, go over a few of them, um, just for the audience in case they're like, you know, but how do you know if you're stressed or you're not stressed? You might be stressed and you don't even know it. Um, emotional symptoms can be like depression, um, general, like if you're generally unhappy, if you're always unhappy, and yeah, something mm -hmm. is stressing you, something is bothering you, mm -hmm. right? Um, you feel some type of anxiety or agitation. If you're moody all the time, you know irritability, if you're angry all the time, um, if you feel overwhelmed about everything, um, loneliness or isolation, um, you know, those are all your emotions telling you, let's try to make things a little better. Yeah. Remember, at the end of the day, life is about being happy, right? And yeah. happiness is, 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 you know, it's priceless. This is where, you know, yeah. not, you know, unfortunately, we live in a world that is not perfect. If it was yeah. perfect, then stress probably wouldn't be around, right? And they say stress ranks right up there with a heart attack, man. Yeah, people 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 talk about diet, but the stress yeah. really Listen, consumes you, man. Big time, yeah. Everybody heard this term, right? Stress is the silent killer. Mm -hmm. It is, it is, right. and it leads to your defense system becoming weaker and allowing diseases to come and attack. Correct, right, sir. Right, because it's it, it, your mind. Your mind is is powerful, right? Um, um, I just want to mention. Just I just want just just bear with me a little bit. I want to mention think, do you um, physical and behavioral. So. Physical symptoms can be, you know, if you get a lot of headaches, a lot of pains, if your body's mm. always hurting, it's like your body's saying, look, something's not right. Something's, very, something's holding us back from progress, mm. right? Um, something, something as simple as diarrhea, constipation. Something's holding your, your body back from doing what it normally does. The body is probably the most perfect thing in the world. Gives you Everything has science. a function. Mm. And if your body is, is being held back from from digesting, then, you know, it's like your mind saying, hey, something, something's up, right? Hey, don't forget. They say your body, they say your body is your temple. Yeah. It is. It yeah. is. And it is. And we yeah. have to pay attention to the body. Yep. Yep. It's don't almost, forget also. You have to go to the doctor when you're like, eh, hey, I'm just, I'm cool. I just need a little rest. Or I need to go to the doctor. Well, yeah, we tend to do that too. Right? Um, he, he, hey, Eddie, here's, an, here's another sign mm -hmm. that people may not pay attention to it, but it could be related to this, right? When there's a change in your sex drive. Oh, I was gonna mention. I was gonna talk about that because oh. it's actually next on the list, right? My bad, my bad. Um, no, yeah, no, that's fine. That, that you're right, and that can be related to you know in relationships, 
you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're not machines, right? Mm -hmm. You know, relationships, especially, um, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, and husband, wife, you know, it's, it's built on, on, on love and, and companionship and wanting to be with another person for, for certain reasons, right? Um, so that's actually, it's funny because it, that was the next thing I was going to discuss. So, so your sex drive, if it goes down and something's up, something's not allowing you to feel that same love that you have for that person, pay attention to that, you know, and, and, and give it that respect to try to fix those things, right? Um, yeah. And then behavioral symptoms, uh, um, behavioral symptoms would be eating more or eating less when you have a loss of appetite or you eat too much, right? It, it, that, that's, and again, remember we said stress can lead to um, other things like depression. And that's also symptoms of depression where you eat too much or you, 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 you know, or you eat comfort too, food. too little or you don't eat that much. It's almost like mm -hmm. you don't find the, the reason to eat healthy, right? Um, sleeping too much or sleeping too little. Anything to the extreme is probably not that good. <laughs> Anything to the extreme. If you do too much of something, or you do too little of something, yeah. right? Um, you know, that's, that's, those are signs as well. When you're withdrawing from others, when you find yourself isolating yourself from your friends where you used to hang out, from your parents, from your, your family, from your own children, where you just want to be in a room and hide away and being, you know, that's, you know, those are, those are moments that your body's telling you, your mind is telling you something's up. Something is up, right? So, Eddie, let me ask you this question, right? Please. So, we are talking about, you know, some of the symptoms and some of the signs, right, right, that stress causes a person. Now, how would you recommend, like, like how would you approach a person that you, now that we, we spoke about these symptoms, like, how would you approach this person and say, hey, listen, um, let's talk about what's going on. Like, how, explain, how, how would you do it? Or would you do it? <laughs> A good question again and i'm going to say this and i'm going to speak to the audience right now i'm <laughs> i'm a person who's hosting this topic i'm not an expert in yeah. i'm not a doctor but i will say this and this is just me being a person who has dealt with children for more than 35 years literally yeah. and i noticed that and of course not everybody's a child but before you when you have an interaction with a person, you need to know who they are and what they know and what strengths they have and what weaknesses they have. If a person was to tell me that they're stressed about something, I wouldn't talk about what they're stressed. I would try to figure out who they are first. So like that, then I can, in my mind, bullet their strengths and bring it back out to them so they can use their strengths to fight whatever they're stressing. So what if I know that they're telling you that, what if they're not letting you know that? Like you, use, you, know? you try to, you, well, this is where questioning comes in. I mean, you, you try to make people feel comfortable, right? A person's not going to let you in their mind if they don't feel comfortable with who you are. So I would have to share a little bit of me too. Okay. There you go. Open yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, no, no, no. It's not a one way. I'm not, it's not, a, no one's a study. I'm not studying anybody. Right. Um, but we judging talk, anybody. We, well. and we get to know each other. And, and the more we get to know each other, the more you're like, you know what? That's a strength that person has. And they may not even know it. And you bring it back and you let them know, look, you've done this. You have done this. You've done this. You were in this situation. You know, you, you have this. You have that. And that's only because they have shared that part of themselves with you. And you throw it right back at them and say, look, wait a minute. You're not that person to be down because of this little thing. Let's just try to mm. figure it out because you have the tools. And, and you have what, it, what, 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 what you need in order to solve this. Don't stay down. Don't stay down. And I'm a strong believer that as soon as you're born, you won. You're a winner. 100% correct. You're a winner. So if you're a winner, then stay winning. These are just experiences that people experience, bottom line. Correct. But it doesn't mean that because after you're born, you experience something that may be hard, you stay down. No, you, we try to figure it out. And then, of course, you know, Ray, I would try to offer support and be true to the support and be consistent mm. and, 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 and be there and, and maybe push a little bit more in the beginning and then release as I see that they're taking control of the situation more and more. But and I all think they and all they might all they might need it was for you to just bring that out and for you to listen to them too. So a lot of people they they don't have anyone to listen to them. They always having someone that's probably judging them or yep. um, you know just speaking to them and they and no one just actually sitting there going, "Hey, what could I do 
to help you and they yeah. just probably want you to sit there and listen to them. You might think let them a- let them speak and yep. you just sit back there and just listen and you're not judging them, you're not doing anything. You're just listening to them. Right. And that's all they probably ever want someone that's to do. Yeah. That's it. Hey. Ed, so let me, let me ask you, Ed, uh, sorry, just following up on Ray's question, right? Like a part two question to that. How, for the folks out there listening to, a, to this podcast, how would you identify someone that you, that you, that, um, you think you know, they're stressed or they're going through some stuff? How would you, what, what are the signs if, if you can share that with us? So first what I would do is I would want them to talk about their own stresses, what's bothering them so they can identify what's bothering them and what's stressing them once you yeah, but, but they're not necessarily opening up sorry I, 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 maybe no, i didn't give the, no, of course i didn't give the right scenario like for example so there's a lot of people that have groups like us right we're boys right it, so how would you approach me if i'm not coming to you like hey what's up like like all of a sudden i don't call you no, no more i'm not coming no. around anymore no. how would you you know i don't answer your phone calls i don't answer your text but obviously you care for me, so you're going to reach out. How would you approach me without okay. me, like, you know, just shutting you down all the way? I, I apologize for misinterpreting that. Um, I'm a very strong believer in always self-analyzing myself. I always think about, did I do that okay? Did I, can I do that better? Especially if something went south. Like, when I say south, when something went wrong in a situation, mm-hmm. could I have done that a little better, right? What drives me, Manny, is love, is my heart. And I love to love. I love to be around people. I know not everybody has these characteristics, but I'm getting to your, to your answer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think what we've all expressed here is the ability to bring out the strengths that we have learned in order mm-hmm. to fight a stress that, that could, a moment that could be stressful. So what I would tell people that find that are in a stress situation, and I know this, you know, we're not gonna sit here and we're gonna say people don't try. Because it's like, yeah, 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 I've tried, I'm trying to look for work. I'm trying to look for this. I'm trying, But never give up. And look for people around you. Stay around people that love you. True, All genuine right. love. Stay around the right, you know, stay around the right people. Don't, you know, at the end of the day, you know, a lot of times we know what's right and what's wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, but never give up. There's going to be a moment. It could be, the stress can last a day. It could be a moment. Or it can last months or even years. But don't let something that's don't let something conquer your your life or your you know and and, and try not to. I'm gonna say oh, try. There's a part three coming. It would be unfair. Part three coming. <laughs> yeah, no, it would be unfair. Positive energy. There's a part yeah. three to this question. Go. On. Yeah, it's that's, that's positive, of course, because you try to you try and 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 this all leads to also to something that Manny mentioned earlier, is being is putting things in place putting things in place before any stressful moment can possibly attack your mind. If you have certain things in place, and this is just, you know, again, you have to be, you know, a person that has this open mind of, of, um, of wanting more. Right. But if I don't do anything, just answer for myself, my question. You just answered part three of the question. Yeah, because if, if, you, if you don't do anything for yourself, then yeah, there's going to be moments where you're stressed. If all I yeah. do is stay home, believe me every day, there's going to be a moment. I don't have money. What am I going to eat? Now I have a child. Yep. I mean, yep. but I'm not doing anything for myself. I'm not trying to do these things. And there's always with it. And, and I'm going to, and I'm going to quote Chuck. He said, well, there's a will, there's a way. I'm going to quote Manny in, in our, in our, I, I believe it was uh, episode three, episode three about people that don't know you might invest a hundred dollars and end up getting a thousand in a week. There you go. Just doing the research. I mean, we all have fun uh, phones. We can make these things happen. But again, I don't want to. I don't want to sound like things are so simple like that. I don't. No, I, you know, it sounds like oh yeah, yeah. Listen to this guy. No, we don't want to do that either. But um, but, but just know that it's you know life is it, it takes you there, right? It takes you to certain spots where where you may not have the answers, and then that's what creates stress, fight or flight. So, so I'm going to ask you, Ray. I, I like to add to that, right? Because yeah. part three of the question was so. Now, we all stated that stress is, is here to stay, right? It's part of our life. It's natural, right? And it all depends on how, you know, no matter how big the stress is or whatever you're dealing with, we got to have some kind of a blueprint, 
and we kind of all talked about a blueprint, right? So there's an action plan. You know, we, we, we think about things. Chuck, you talked about, okay, hey, listen, you know, I, I have this property in California. Boom, that's going to address it. And then, you know, you get your results. Uh, you know, you, you, we all talked about, okay, there's, 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 uh, there's one or two actions that we, we have to take. So those were for like, to me, were like the big, big category stresses, right? Right. But my third question, my question to you, which you kind of answered a little bit is, now that we know that we're going to be faced with, you know, stressful situations, right? What are some of the things that we can immediately put in play to say, I know what to, I know how to deal with it, right? right. I, I've heard it from you, Eddie, and I've heard it from you, many. The first thing that you guys said is, "Why worry about it? Because if I worry about it, it's not going to solve the problem." Mm -hmm. So immediately, you <clears throat> detach yourself emotionally from the situation, and 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 go straight into, "Okay, this is the plan. This is what I'm going to do." Right? Right. right. So so like, what are some of the things that we can not 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 not, not to recommend, but like. I, I, I think sometimes it's ingrained in us because we've learned so much on, on how to deal with situations that sometimes it become natural. I'll give you an example. When, when there's something that's happening that I don't like, I just walk away from the situation. Oh, Just walk away for that 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Let Excuse your mind me. be free. And then when you come yeah. back. Without emotions. Exactly. And so that's one, one of the things that, you know, I think it's, it comes natural. I think it also comes natural to you guys. And it could be that people are, they do this and they may not know that this is, this is like a, a stress defense or, or, or you just got to you know, highlight it. So what are other things that you, you do nowadays that you know, kind of to us is no longer stress because we have the, a reaction to it? I'll keep asking that question because that leads us to the next part of this show. Um, as I was doing a little research for this show so we can bring the best experience to our audience, um, I did look up, uh, you know, how do, how do you deal with these things before you have to deal with them? There's going to be moments where you're going to have to deal with some type of situation that could be stressful or more stressful or, or maybe not. It could be a re uh, something that is not stressful. Um, I think it's an individual thing. Uh, and I believe that whatever you are in certain situations, like for example, if I'm a father, then I need to do researching, not research, I need to look up and read books like Manny says on best practices if, if, if I need help with that, right? Prepare before, right? If I'm, you know, whatever profession I'm in, how do you deal with that profession? Uh, but I think I think there are moments where people are just not prepared for these things. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I do want to kind of talk to those people a little bit. Yeah. You know, and when you find a moment extremely stressful, those are wake up calls to start prepping and to start doing things. So you don't feel that stress again. You know, like if I can't pay my bills, if I can't, you know, and I know people are in situations, you know, there's people that there's all types of situations. Yeah. Let's not be oblivious to I, I can touch base on that. You know, there's people that have five children, no job, yeah. and their and their husband left them. Yeah. I mean, whoa. So then let's figure it out. Wait a minute, because there is help, right? Yeah. You can you can get help, government help. You know, mm -hmm. there's there's things we can do. Um, but at the end of the day, that has to come from within to want to uplift yourself so you can fight stress. Right. You know, you know, Chuck, I know you kind of want to throw something in here. Um, you know, that's my piece. I want to throw it back to my brothers. Chuck, what do you, what do you feel about that? You know, well, what do you, it, what you, you actually just, about? you just touched on what, what that, that was just, that's just on my mind because you have to deal with yourself first before you could just kind of deal with the stress because you have to know what you could deal with mentally, physically, and emotionally before you could deal with whatever is being thrown at you. Because if you can't deal with that, then you might as well not even try to deal with whatever that problem is about to, whatever, I won't say a problem, or whatever that stress is about to be thrown in. Right. So if you can't, you have to dig deep into your inner self and figure that, figure that part out first. Yep. And then if, if you figure that part out, if you figure that part out, then that stress that's coming, it's not even a problem. Yep. It's not even a problem. You're right. 100%, Chuck. Eddie, if I may just... Uh, 
So, uh, great points all around, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm in the show, but I'm watching the show at the same time. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> great points, man. Great points. I'm mesmerized. But, um, yeah, my piece is more like um, what you were saying, Eddie, uh, as far as planning, right? What, what is the saying? You Either you, uh, you plan you, to... You, lighter. you plan, <laughs> either you plan to fail or you fail to plan. Right. And that's the biggest thing, right? So check this out, right? Why do, we, why do you go to Ikea and you get a whole manual on how to put things together, right? Why do you uh, take a road trip and you need a GPS, right? Why do you have all these, all, all these things? But in life, we don't, we don't have a manual, right? And what are the pillars that cause stress? The finances, right? Oh. Family, oh, health, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and spiritual, right? Those yeah. are the, if I'm missing one, please jump in. But if you if you if you work on your finances, right? Some which kind of a plan. Is, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I believe that's the number one stress. Oh, people top, cannot pay for most divorces. Provide yeah. for some some type of service, whether it's rent, school, um, yep. transportation, bills, whatever it may be. You totally yes, sir. Right. Yes. Yeah, hundred percent. So the finances, right? Whether it's a spiritual thing, whether it's a family thing, um, and then a health thing, right? Within again, respectfully, because you could be, you know, a, 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 a marathon runner, whatever, top shape and die of a heart attack. You never know. But at least you're taking. Damn. Yeah, you, it happens. Totally. You could be you could be top of your game and life just hits you. You get hit by a truck, you know. But uh, what I'm saying is. Take the initiative to cover your end, your due diligence. Right. Certain situations are tougher than others. It's not like Eddie was saying, as simple as black and white. Yes. Luckily, I'm not in that situation. And all I can say to you is take a step back, take yourself out of the bubble and look at yourself like a third party. Right. Look what's going on in the bubble so you can make certain decisions. Because uh -huh, uh -huh. a lot of times, you know, oh, man, he's wrong. She's wrong. He's always doing that to me. She's always doing that to me. Uh, the government is taking advantage. It's not right. Things are not. Take a step, take a step back and look at the whole scenario. Right. Um, but yeah, man, th those four pillars are key. If you don't plan and if you don't educate yourself, right, and we have so many resources nowadays, um, you can talk to someone, you can exercise, right? If it's a, a substance thing, you got to seek, seek help. Um, but but uh, like Charlie was saying, man, you have to just stay the course, seek help, and, and uh, you know, hopefully you get that love around you. Surround yourself with the right people, you know? That's it. Yeah, good point. Um <clears throat> I appreciate that. Um, I don't know if that answered your question, Ray, but, you know, at the end of the day, I don't think that there's, um, you know, every situation is different. Every situation is different. Right. Uh, you know, but sometimes it's a routine. People that constantly go over, uh, mm -hmm. people that constantly are facing situations, at some point. Cut that cycle. Try. I'm going to say try because I don't know anybody's plight. I don't know anyone's history. I don't know anyone's life. I don't know where they came from. I don't know that. Or well, their weaknesses, right? You know, um, but because I'm, I'm trying to give a little advice. Um, if they're watching this show, then they're on a computer or a phone. Okay, yeah. You can start there. You know, start looking at how can I better my situation and whatever yeah. one of those four pillars, right? Whether it's, you know, financial, what can I do? And I know sometimes, and I'm going to say something, you know, you know, being Latino or Hispanic, whatever, Latinx, whatever it is, title that they give us, whatever. Um, you know, sometimes we don't have the same opportunities and it can be stressful. Just just that can be, a, I mean, look at what we're fighting now, right? Just equality, right? Equity, right? You know, I mean, I mean, we're bringing down statues for crying out loud of people that, that took advantage of our people, you know. So we know that the mindset of other people are out there and they put pillars on us, not pillars, they, they put, they, they stop us from progressing sometimes, but that's not enough. We can't use, we can't use reasons. We can't use our past, the, the past to say, oh, there's the reason why I can't. Because if, if one person does it, then we can all do it. Mm -hmm. If two people do it, then we can all do it twice. <laughs> And that's yeah. why, I, and that's why I go back to just saying knowing your inner self. Yeah. If right. if you don't know your inner self, then everything that's being done and it doesn't make sense because if if you don't know what you're capable of, or just don't know if you know what 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 you can do by yourself without everybody else first, 
then nothing else makes sense. You can't help your family. You can't help anybody. You, if you can't help yourself, you can't, you can't do anything for anybody. Right. And, and, and always be weary, right? Be alert right. Of, of catching the, uh, the path of least resistance. To Eddie's point, it's easy to jump on the wagon and agree with people and say, nah, that's it, they got us. Definitely. No, they don't, man. They really don't. Uh, it hurts. It's a lot of unfairness. I get it. But, you know, if we, if, if four brothers like this can get on and, and provide a message, right, and share, and you can put a comment and we can go out of our way to try to give you some kind of guidance, it's something. Uh, yeah. Good it's point. something, right? It is something. And Listen, what? because Ray, Ray, look, Ray knew his inner self. He knew mm -hmm. that he, he, he wasn't going to be, he wasn't going to let himself fail. He knew he wasn't going to stay down. Mm. He knew that, listen, I'm not going to let my children go without. So he knew within his inner self yep. that he and, believed in himself first. Yep. And then he knew that he was going to prevail over everything that was going on around him. And I can attest to that because if you guys will only know where he is now, Same I don't want to blow up his spot, but no, he's no in way. a lot better place. And he's a very humble brother. And I know how he rolls, you know, so... Trust me, he's he's all right. Yeah. You know, and I, I'm just gonna mention this, and and we all, all all four of us have stories where we started from rock bottom. The first generation, I'm first generation in the United States, so everything was a culture shock and figuring out how to survive here. You know, um, there's ways, there's ways. Um, but I do want to bring up the point: if somebody does reach out and they feel stressed, we will find the research and we will try to find sure. something agency that can try to help them you know whether it's um yeah and and please put your comments below yeah. um and 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 so i'm i'm not even gonna say subscribe at this point only because your comments are more important than subscribing mm -hmm. because yeah. we're talking to you right now yeah. we're talking to <clears throat> lives and people that may be going through something yeah. if we're the way out then you know what then us four brothers are gonna go hard for you yes sir you're, yeah. reach out. You're, you're watching our show then you know what and it's our due diligence to take mm -hmm. care of you too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And this is what it's all about, you know? And, and the one thing that we're going to do is anything that we've used in terms of getting the research or some of, some of the, 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 the supportive information, we are going to post it yes. in the, the description of this particular episode because, yes, I'm going to repeat it again. This is no joke. The stress thing can be a killer. Yes, sir. and um, you know, especially in 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 our environment, in our community, our people, you know, dealing with everything that you know uh, other people may not may, may not face, right? I mean, you could you could see it on TV. Look, the other day, I, I and I think I think I, I shared this with you guys. For some reason, I was looking at my phone all day, and all I saw was all these videos of police uh, uh, police brutality, whether it be a, a child, whether it be a woman, whether it be a man. And it was one video after the other, after the other, after the other. Now, it was stress, but it turned into, in, into a little bit of an anger, right? But I was, I was able to deal with it because I knew how to relieve that anger because of things that I've learned in the past, right? So learn, I hear from everybody on this, on, we were, I was definitely on one of my lowest points and I was able to climb out of it, out of it, right? Because I never gave up. Yeah. Rick, can you, if, because I know probably you missed this point, but great point. The fact that, how, how did you come out of that by seeing that, right? Because we all have those little, those little gadgets nowadays. We're all addicted to those things. Just for the, for the fans out there, how did, how were you able to combat the stress on the anger real quick? Uh, just like I said, walking away, right? Being able to understand, okay, I see there's what can we do to get there or what needs to be done. So instead of focusing the anger on what I was seeing, I said, okay, we need to be able to fix this problem. Immediately, my brain flipped from anger to try and solve the problem. Just even thinking about something else. You know, I was, I was really like, I was shaking. I was, I was like, you know, I could feel my, my, my whole body. Like we talked about it, it can have a really, really uh, impact on your body. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, I was, I was like a breathing fast. It was just like a, like a real anger. And I just like, it really hit you. Put it away. I, I said, I put oh, it away. you put it down. Okay. Just I put it down. I put it down. Okay. I just I started it, talking it. about, okay, what, what, what's being done. Got it. Yeah. Because it was just, all I was getting from input was just 
what it's I'm addictive. Seeing. It's really it's addictive, exactly. man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and I think right now because um, you know, just, just something. Time, sorry, just can I just say something, yeah, Charles? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. And this is the little twist that we always put here, right? The media is pushing that. They're pushing those uh, images, right? So that people that may not know how to deal with it, then they see this and they get impacted. And they get this idea of this is how the world is. Yeah, it is, but you could change it. So, so can I just interject for a second? And, and you're totally right. The media, the media's job is to put bad news because bad news is good news to the viewers. And that's what gives ratings, you know, um, and that can cause stress. So that's, yeah. that's one good component. You know, don't get stuck on the TV because yeah. that can cause those stressors. Yeah. 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 But um, if you would allow me, I'm going to bring this yeah. back a little bit. Yep. Only because I kind of want to just talk about it. And, and this is where, you know, we're very sensitive. And half of these things on this list, I haven't even really experienced. I'm just trying to help out the most, you know, we are trying to help out as much as we can. Um, so we will, again, I'm going to say this. We will definitely post uh, crisis numbers in, in the comments. So please look below. If, if you feel like you need some kind of anonymous help, you don't have to tell us, you know, um, but we're just going to put them there for the silent viewers because we know there's silent viewers out there. Maybe they're not subscribing. That's fine. At the end of the day, the purpose of this is to help people and just just have fun while we're talking about some real topics. But this topic tonight is real. And it's and, and it's real in a lot of homes. Okay? And I just kind of just want to go down the list of moments that could be stressful. You know, even though us four people here, we say, oh, there's certain moments where we're not going to get any stressed. Oh, yeah, we can be stressed. If we go through a death of a spouse, that's stressful. You know, a divorce, marriage separation, imprisonment, imprisonment. I mean, people that, that, that are locked up, their loved ones, you know, you know, fathers, mothers that are locked up and not, a, you know, think about the child. And this is where now we go back to, you know, to those uh, identifiers of stress, right? Um, death of a close family member. I mean, how do you prep somebody for that, really? I mean, no matter what you, no matter what I've done in my life, you know, I can say that um, someone passes in my life, it, it'll be pretty stressful because it's hard to imagine mm-hmm. some, you know, life without that person in my life anymore. You know, um, injuries or illness, an injury that can leave you paralyzed maybe, or, or, you know, who knows, right? Or an illness, right? Right now we're going through a pandemic, you know, Corona and, you know, and, and it, we, we kind of, I think, well, I'm going to say, I've known a lot of people, maybe not immediate people, but people that are close to me that have had somebody who's lost somebody. Those are stressful moments, you know? Marriage is stressful. Uh, Job loss, marriage reconciliation, when you're trying to reconcile with the person, you know, that can be very stressful when you're trying to make something happen, but certain moments have already kind of uh, 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 affected maybe your your relationship, Mm -hmm. whether it's cheating or who knows what it is, right? Um, and retirement. Retirement can be stressful as well. We never even thought about that. Mm-hmm. Think of a person who's worked for 50 hours, for fifty years and now is retired, but still can't make ends meet based on their retirement. 50 years? That's a long time. It's Start time. at 10 years old. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Ray? Honestly, um, I know my father and my mother continue to work. You know, my, my father, rest in peace. I mean, he did retire, but, but I would say that you know, at the end of the day, remember what we are. We're providers to the family. And if it means 50 years, then it means 50 years. <laughs> if it means 50, 40 years, um, if we're blessed to have a retirement plan, plan is nice. That's something that not everybody has, you know? And just going back to Manny's point, sometimes it's not even a retirement thing. It's, it's figuring out how to make your ends meet. And, you know, and I know Manny's shaking his head because he kind of wants to, he, he wants to, to talk about. No, no, you're good. You're good. There's a way of fixing the mind of people. I know we're talking about stress, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to let Manny go ahead and express himself about, you know, f- people figuring out something other than retirement and making it happen today. Yeah. Cause that can alleviate stress as well. Right. Oh, hundred you know, percent. Stock markets, you know, I'm done. Yeah, Manny, say whatever you no, want. No, no, you, you, you're on it. You're on the ball. Ed, Ed, okay. Yeah. I just got excited because of, of everything you're saying. You're making sense. You're pretty much touching on a lot of the points that I'm always expressing. Um, and yeah, uh, again, the planning, the planning, the planning, you know, um, 
But I, if I'll take a step back real quick and, and, you know, just for the folks out there, again, I don't want to make this into a show where, you know, we just, it's, it's, I don't want to make it sound, but it's real. The depression is there. And, you know, if we can help in any way, we will. But just also remember, guys, no matter what you're going through, like Eddie said earlier, if you're alive, you're already a winner. That's right. There's some, there's some crazy stat out there, right? It says uh, the chance of us being born is some crazy number, like one in 400 trillion. That's crazy. Literally. That is ridiculous, dude. Is. So if you're alive, just by being alive, you already won. You got something up and, <laughs> and everybody else that has it, right? So, you know, take the next step and go forward. Um, for the folks that are just, you know, going through their, uh, I don't want to say general stress, but things that, that everybody's going through, right? Um, educate yourself. Go forward. In terms of finances, man, listen. That's the biggest obstacle a lot of the times. Not not every time, but a lot of the times that is the biggest thing. Um, and we, and, I, and for example, I put myself where I am because of my decisions, right? And my own choices. That's right. But this is not the end game. If you keep looking, you'll find, right? That's Seek right. and you shall find. You ever heard of that? So keep, right. keep every day, just do a little research. Keep, keep searching, keep searching. I myself found something that I'm really excited about uh, personally. And man, listen, this thing is ridiculous. And it just stumbled upon me because of where I was, right? So I, I positioned myself in a, in a situation, you know, where things, doors open up for me. Everybody's like, damn, man, you always, it's not that. It's that I'm like, no, if Eddie's, you know, a financial person and that's my drive, I'm going to hang out with that dude right there. Common sense, it's not rocket science. I'm not going to hang out with, you know, Jose and Pablo in the liquor store in the corner or, or John and whatever. I'm going to hang with the people that are going to push me forward, right? Tell me, give me your best friends, right? Give me your five friends. And the sixth one is you, and you're going to be just the same. Whether they're striving to go forward or they're striving to do the wrong thing, you're, yep. you're in that boat, believe it or not. So, Manny, I think that we're definitely going to dedicate one of the sessions for that because that topic is, is broad and oh, man. there's a lot more. I agree. Right? I think you have a very good grasp of that. Yes, I agree. So, Brother Eddie. Fire. Um, I, I, let me I, say some, I, I think yeah, right now. I'm about to say, go ahead, Chuck. I think right now this this topic. I think people right now would be happy that we're speaking about it because, like like we all said, that um, they have no one to speak to or listen to them. Right, right. So this topic here will make them either open up and go speak to somebody or seek help. You know what I mean? To help them get through whatever yeah. their, you know, whatever their stress or their ordeal is. Oh. So, hey, oh. listen, I make just like we, I think we were all excited about this topic, topic because it's, if it only touches five people, even one person, one person. we, we did, we, we helped somebody. And listen, it helped me because look, we're able to speak. And we all listen to one another. Mm -hmm. So if we had something going on, even though we probably didn't speak about it, it probably already helped us and we don't even know it. Hmm. So I, 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 I yeah, oh man. So I know. I'm, That's why I hang with you brothers. Every time I'm down, I say, yo, right. yo, Ray, what's up? Pick me up. Or oh, Chuck, what's up? You want to roll? Yeah. Eddie, what are you doing? Let's go. And that's what I'm I got saying. Like, three brothers that I can lean on, man. It's yeah. a beautiful thing, man. And if, if, and if that one person out there will go, hey man, I listened to this show. I, I, I saw the other one, but I listened to this show and just alone helped them get through yeah. whatever they were going through. The mind frame shift, I'm, shift I'm, them. Man, I'm so ecstatic about that. So. Yeah. And trust me, guys, if I can have your attention, I'm looking right at you right now. From someone that came from a single mother, my little sister and I sleeping on a mattress in the Bronx with no heat. Oh. To where I am now, there's help, yep. and you can turn that around. Yep. Thank you for that. I leave, I leave that that's my piece yep. right there. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, Manny. And as always, I got a better mattress, by the way. Now, <laughs> as always, that's right, brother Eddie. Let's wrap it up. I have the I have the closing statement for this particular topic. It was just a great, great topic. Thank you so much. Um, before, Thank you for sharing. Before I wrap it up, I do want to bring up a fact, and um, I just want to kind of back up what Manny said, you know, before we were even 
human beings, we were sperm cells, mm. right? And these sperm cells, and I and I actually researched them. I'm looking at it right now. We were one in 400 trillion. I believe you said that, man. Yeah, yeah. 400 trillion. That's crazy. And if you were a person to give up, you would have never. If you were a sperm cell, right, <laughs> to give you up, you never would have got to that egg. Right. So after formation and after, you know, after every after after getting to that egg, like I mean, you were fighting, you were. You were going through and you were kicking and you were pushing and, and you made it through. This is not the time to drop the ball. You know, you got to try to keep on trying to figure things out. Um, allow us to try to help you guys out. Um, you know, again, we're not, we're not professionals in that, but if we're doing this podcast, it's because we're talking about topics that we know can affect our audience. And we know that these topics are very personal to a lot of people. Um, you don't even have to talk to us. We can redirect you to different agencies and crises. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to post, again, I mentioned, we are going to post um, some crises numbers and, and just help, uh, you know, because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. This is our story, but we know you also have a story and your story is just as important as ours. Absolutely. Um, you know, and I do want to end with, if we said anything that offended anybody, please, you know, forgive what we've said, but I, I you know, just, just on some, maybe they're not understanding things. But that's definitely not the intention. Um, at this point, I'm going to ask Ray, um, can you just remind the audience where we can be reached at Facebook? Yes. So we're on Facebook. Yes. We are on Twitter. We are on Instagram. We're also on the audio podcast. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, uh, Stitcher, uh, Spotify, and uh, all of the affiliates within Apple, uh, the Apple Podcast. We'll also put that, all that information in as part of the description. And if you want to leave us a number uh, to leave a message, the number is 201-771-0002. Leave something. 201-771-0002. Yes, sir. So okay. Your comments and, you know, subscribe. We're going to keep on talking about these topics. At the end of the day, we put this podcast together so we can reach out to the people that make you better. Um, the gains are when we make people better. Okay, so with, with, with that being said, um, you know, just keep in mind that stressors are something that can be eliminated by bringing, for, bringing, to the, bringing strength and bringing certain characteristics and ways of thinking to the table that can eliminate stress. Um, again, I'm not a professional in this, but um, but please, you know life. Comments. Yeah. But experience comments. teaches you, right? Yeah. Experience yeah. teaches us. And just always know that you're definitely important. There's people around you. You yes. know, you have children, you have parents, mm -hmm. you have friends, you have us, you have the United Podcast Show. And if United you're out there, United United Podcast. you have life. So please leave your comments. Please leave your comments. Please leave your comments because we and, definitely want to hear from you. And please stay safe and healthy. That's all we want.